OK, now if we run the form, go up here to the top and click View. We can see that we've got our main and sub form set up, so I'll start typing in data now. Notice as soon as I type in something here, order date, the auto number um, and sub form will be incremented by one. Okay, it actually shows ID 4, which is fine because I'd ha I previously had three records in there which I deleted. Um, and access, it tends to keep the last number that uh, was stored in there, so that's fine. Now, as soon as I click here in Customer ID, you'll notice that it will be given the same ID as the Customer ID here at the top which is basically the primary key and foreign key linking up together. Put another record in. And again the IDs get updated at the end. Now we don't really need to show the order ID column or the customer ID column. Um, these are both ID columns and they're not really necessary for us to show in the form. You can keep them if you want but I tend not to, to show them on the form. Um, so how do we actually remove them? Well we need to go into the design view of the subform. Um, if we do remove them from the form um, they're, at, they're still actually there, they're still behind the scenes. Access is still adding these values in it's just that uh, we're not showing the, the fields on our form. So what we'll do is we'll save this whole form now. Okay, and then we'll close it. We need to go into the subform design and just click on the label above order ID and right click and cut it off do the same with the order ID text box, right click, cut and now just grab all the fields, hold your mouse down drag it until you're forming like a rectangle or a square and just hold it, pull it all over the fields until it goes to the end, let go of the mouse then just hover the mouse anywhere until you see the hand hold the mouse down and just drag it to the left here then let go of the mouse when you're happy with the position. Okay, click anywhere. And now just click on the label, customer ID, then right click, cut it, right click again on customer ID, cut that off, and just go to the end here. We've got a bit of blank space here which you don't want to show. Go to the end, hover your mouse till you see that double sort of arrow symbol. And then just hold your mouse down and then just drag it to the left let go so now we're left with order order date order number and quantity as I mentioned behind the scenes Axis is still adding in values to those fields that we removed it's just that we're not able to see them now on the form so we can save that and close it now if we run run our main form form customers by double clicking we can see now we've only got these three fields here so what I'll do is I'll add a new record, go down to the bottom here we've actually got record selectors um, or navigation buttons as they're called um, the ones in here for the subform do not affect the whole main form the ones at the bottom affect the whole form so these buttons in here are essentially just for moving to each record within the subform. So by clicking that, we can move to that and it moves through the subform only. Um, to move to the main form, we'd have to click, click, click the, the, the uh, navigation buttons at the bottom here. So the one here, second from the end, will take us to the end of the records.
one here at the beginning, it takes us to the beginning. If we want to create a new record, just cr click the very last one here with, this, with the asterisk symbol, brings up a new record and we can enter a new company, new order details as well. Go back to the beginning and I'll just move on to the second record and we'll enter some subform data. Okay, so we've got a record in here now in the subform. We go back to the beginning of all our records and we can see our main record here, record one, has two subform records which we've entered. We we'll now go to, go down to the navigation buttons and select record two, which is Johnson's, and we can see that we've added one um subform record. So our one-to-many relationship is actually working. We can see here the one record for Jimmy Smith in the main form has two orders in the subform. So one record has many orders. Move on to our second record. Again one record Johnson's it only has one order but we've got the ability to add more if we want. So as we can see, a simple sort of invoicing type system linked by primary and foreign keys, order ID, one customer has many records. And that's how we implement a main subform one-to-many relationship.